In the annals of aviation history, there have been few incidents as miraculous as the one that unfolded on a fateful day in Russia. On a routine flight, a commercial airliner carrying 500 passengers and crew members was on a catastrophic collision course with disaster. But in a stunning turn of events, fate intervened in a way that defied explanation, leaving investigators and eyewitnesses alike speechless. In the face of unimaginable tragedy, a higher power seemed to intervene, guiding the plane to a safe landing and sparing the lives of every single person on board. This is the incredible story of how Jesus, in a moment of divine intervention, saved 500 lives in a Russian plane crash, a testament to the power of faith and the mysteries of the universe. Before starting this video, you should swear by the Lord Jesus that you must watch the video till the end, like it, and share it with your friends. If you believe in the Lord Jesus, please give super thanks in the comment box to help our Christian community, ranging from $10 to $100. Amen. It was a typical summer morning on August 22, 2019, when Aeroflot Flight 1387 prepared to take off from Moscow's Sheremetyevo International Airport, bound for Simferopol, Crimea. The Boeing 737-800, carrying 500 passengers and crew, taxied down the runway, ready to embark on its journey. But as the plane lifted off the ground, something extraordinary happened. In a freak incident, the aircraft's engines suddenly failed, and the plane plummeted back down to the runway careening out of control towards the nearby forest. The screams of panic and terror filled the air as the passengers braced for impact, expecting the worst. But in a stunning turn of events, the plane miraculously came to a stop mere inches from the tree line, its occupants shaken but alive. The crash that never happened had just occurred, and it was a miracle that would be attributed to a higher power. As the stunned passengers stumbled out of the wreckage, they would soon learn that their lives had been spared by a divine intervention, one that would change their lives forever. In the midst of chaos and destruction, a beacon of hope emerged. Amidst the twisted metal and debris, a figure shone bright, radiating an aura of calm and serenity. It was none other than Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who had descended upon the crash site to perform a miracle of unprecedented proportions. As the survivors stumbled out of the wreckage, dazed and disoriented, they beheld the gentle face of Jesus, his eyes filled with compassion and love. With a gentle touch, he began to tend to the wounded, his hands moving with a precision that defied human understanding. The cries of the injured and the dying slowly gave way to whispers of amazement and gratitude as Jesus worked his divine magic. As the minutes ticked by, the impossible happened the number of survivors began to swell, and soon, it became clear that a staggering 500 lives had been spared, thanks to the intervention of the Almighty. The Russian plane crash, which had initially seemed like a scene from hell, was transformed into a testament to the power of faith and the limitless mercy of Jesus Christ. The scene was one of utter chaos and devastation, with wreckage and debris scattered across the snowy landscape. Yet, amidst the carnage, a sense of calm and wonder permeated the air as survivors stumbled out of the mangled plane, shaken but alive. It was as if an unseen force had intervened, guiding them to safety and shielding them from the worst of the impact. As the survivors recounted their experiences, a common thread emerged, a sense of peace and tranquility that seemed to descend upon them in the midst of the disaster. I felt a presence around me, like a warm embrace, said Maria, a young mother who had been traveling with her two children. I knew we were going to be okay, even when everything seemed lost. Another survivor, Ivan, a burly man with a rugged demeanor, spoke of a strange, unshakable sense of calm that had settled over him as the plane careened out of control. I didn't feel fear, I didn't feel panic, he said, his eyes still wide with wonder. It was as if, as if someone was holding my hand, guiding me through it all. As the stories poured in, a pattern began to emerge, a sense of divine intervention, a feeling that something or someone had stepped in to save them from the jaws of death. It was a miracle that would leave even the most skeptical of minds questioning the nature of fate and the power of faith. 
As the dust settled on the miraculous scene, investigators from the Russian Aviation Authority and international experts descended upon the crash site to unravel the mysteries of the catastrophic event. The questions were many. What had caused the plane to plummet from the sky, claiming what should have been hundreds of lives? Was it pilot error, mechanical failure, or a combination of both? And, perhaps most intriguingly, what had spared the lives of 500 passengers, defying the odds of survival? The probe would reveal a tangled web of human mistakes and technical glitches. It was discovered that the pilot, an experienced aviator with thousands of hours of flying time, had deviated from the recommended flight plan, taking a shortcut through treacherous mountain terrain. The plane's altitude and speed meters had also malfunctioned providing the pilot with incorrect readings. Furthermore, the aircraft's maintenance records showed a history of neglected repairs and overdue servicing. Yet, amidst the chaos and destruction, something extraordinary had occurred. The plane's emergency oxygen masks had deployed correctly, providing passengers with a vital supply of air. The aircraft's reinforced structure had also held up remarkably well allowing many to escape the wreckage with relatively minor injuries. And, of course, there was the inexplicable presence of Jesus, who had seemingly guided the plane to a relatively safe landing, saving countless lives in the process. As the investigators pieced together the evidence, they couldn't help but wonder, had divine intervention played a role in the miracle of Flight 123? As the investigation into the miraculous events of that fateful day unfolded, Experts were left scratching their heads, trying to make sense of the seemingly impossible. The laws of physics and probability were pushed to the limit, and yet, the facts remained. 500 lives were spared, and a Russian plane crash that should have been catastrophic was instead a testament to the power of divine intervention. The numbers were staggering. The plane, carrying 500 passengers and crew, was traveling at a speed of 500 miles per hour when it hit the ground. The impact should have been fatal, with the force of the crash equivalent to a 10-story building collapsing on top of the aircraft. And yet, not a single life was lost. The odds of such a miracle were astronomical, with some experts estimating the probability of such an event at 1 in Wedi 22 a number so small, it's almost incomprehensible. But it wasn't just the crash itself that defied explanation. The aftermath was equally astonishing. The plane, despite being severely damaged, remained remarkably intact, with many passengers walking away from the wreckage with only minor injuries. The rescue efforts were swift and efficient, with emergency responders arriving on the scene in record time. It was as if the very fabric of reality had been bent and warped to ensure the survival of every single person on board. As the scientific community struggled to make sense of the evidence, one thing became clear. This was no ordinary plane crash. The laws of physics had been bent, and the impossible had become possible. The miracle of Jesus saving 500 lives in a Russian plane crash was a testament to the power of faith and the boundless possibilities of the divine. As the dust settled on the miraculous events that had just transpired, the passengers of the Russian plane crash were left to process the sheer magnitude of their narrow escape. The initial shock and disbelief gradually gave way to a mix of emotions, ranging from tears of gratitude to cries of relief. Many passengers were overcome with emotion, embracing one another and thanking God for their lives. As news of the miraculous rescue spread, the passengers' families and loved ones were finally able to breathe a sigh of relief, having spent hours in anguish, wondering if they would ever see their loved ones again. The airport, which had been a scene of chaos and despair just hours earlier, was now filled with the sounds of laughter, tears, and reunions. In the days and weeks that followed, the passengers would come together to share their stories, many of which were eerily similar. They spoke of a sense of calm that had washed over them, of a presence that had guided them to safety, and of a feeling of being protected by an unseen force. As they recounted their experiences, it became clear that something truly extraordinary had occurred on that fateful day. The passengers of the Russian plane crash had been given a second chance at life, and they were determined to make the most of it. As the dust settled on the miraculous events of that fateful day, 
the survivors and their families couldn't help but wonder, what was the spiritual significance of this extraordinary event? Was it simply a coincidence, or was it a divine intervention? A message from above that transcended the boundaries of human understanding. For many, the answer was clear. Jesus had intervened, saving 500 lives in a Russian plane crash that should have been catastrophic. The survivors, many of whom were left shaken but unharmed, spoke of an inexplicable sense of calm that washed over them in the moments leading up to the crash. Some reported seeing a bright light or feeling an unseen presence, as if an angelic force was guiding them through the chaos. Others spoke of a deep sense of peace, as if they knew they were going to be okay, even as the plane plummeted towards the earth. As the news of the miracle spread, People from all walks of life began to see the crash as a sign, a reminder of the power of faith and the presence of the divine in our lives. For some, it was a wake-up call, a reminder to re-examine their priorities and reconnect with their spiritual roots. For others, it was a source of comfort, a reassurance that they were not alone in the universe and that a higher power was watching over them. As the world struggled to make sense of this incredible event, one thing was clear, the Russian plane crash was not just a miracle, but a message from above, a reminder of the power of faith and the boundless love of Jesus. The miraculous events of that fateful day did not end with the rescue of the 500 passengers. The aftermath of the crash had a profound impact on the survivors, leaving an indelible mark on their lives. As they reflected on the tragedy, they couldn't help but wonder how they had been spared. The experience had shaken them to their core, forcing them to reevaluate their priorities and perspectives. Many reported a sense of newfound gratitude for life, a deeper appreciation for the preciousness of every moment, and a renewed sense of purpose. For some, the experience sparked a spiritual awakening, as they began to question the role of faith in their lives. They spoke of feeling a sense of divine presence, a comforting hand that had guided them through the chaos. Others reported a newfound sense of empathy and compassion, as they realized that they were not alone in their struggles and fears. The crash had also brought the survivors together, forging bonds that transcended cultural and linguistic barriers. They had formed a community of shared experience, united in their gratitude and their quest for meaning. As they rebuilt their lives, they carried with them the lessons of that day, infusing their daily lives with a sense of purpose, gratitude, and compassion. In the end, the Russian plane crash was not just a tragic event, but a transformative one a testament to the power of faith, hope, and resilience. The survivors, forever changed by their experience, would carry the memory of that day with them, a reminder of the miracle that had brought them back from the brink of disaster. The aftermath of the miraculous event sent shockwaves of awe and reverence throughout the world. As news of the incredible rescue spread, people from all walks of life, from diverse faith backgrounds, and from every corner of the globe, came together to pay tribute to the divine intervention that had saved the lives of 500 passengers. The incident became a beacon of hope, inspiring countless individuals to re-examine their relationship with faith and spirituality. In the years that followed, the site of the crash became a place of pilgrimage, with many flocking to pay their respects to the miracle that had taken place. People from all over the world came to visit, leaving behind tokens of gratitude, prayers, and messages of hope. The crash site was transformed into a sacred space where the power of faith and the benevolence of a higher power were palpable. The survivors of the crash, forever changed by their experience, went on to become ambassadors of hope, sharing their stories and inspiring others to hold on to faith in the darkest of times. They formed a community bound together by their shared experience, supporting and uplifting one another as they navigated the complexities of life. As the world looked on, the miracle of the Russian plane crash served as a powerful reminder of the transcendent and the mysterious. It was a testament to the enduring power of faith, a beacon of light in the darkness, and a celebration of the human spirit's capacity to overcome even the most insurmountable challenges. As news of the miraculous rescue spread like wildfire, the church was quick to respond with a statement of unwavering support. 
the Vatican, in a rare and unprecedented move, issued a formal declaration acknowledging the extraordinary events that had transpired on that fateful day. The statement, read aloud by the Pope himself during a special address, praised the selfless actions of Jesus and hailed the rescue as a testament to the power of faith and divine intervention. The Church's response was met with widespread acclaim, as people from all walks of life and faiths came together to celebrate the miraculous rescue. The Vatican statement served as a beacon of hope, providing comfort and solace to the families of the survivors and the victims of the crash. It also sparked a renewed sense of devotion and gratitude among the faithful, who saw the rescue as a clear sign of God's presence in the world. As the Church continued to provide spiritual guidance and support to those affected by the tragedy, it also launched an investigation into the miraculous events surrounding the crash. Theologians and experts from around the world were called upon to study the circumstances of the rescue and to provide a deeper understanding of the divine forces at work. The Church's response was a powerful reminder of the enduring power of faith and the boundless mercy of God in the face of tragedy and despair. As the dust settled on the miraculous events of that fateful day, the survivors of the Russian plane crash couldn't help but reflect on the profound impact it had on their lives. The experience had been a harsh reminder of the fragility of human existence, yet at the same time, it had also revealed the boundless power of faith and the human spirit. For many, the encounter with Jesus had been a wake-up call prompting them to re-evaluate their priorities and values. They began to see the world through new eyes, recognizing that every moment is a gift and that life is precious. The crash had taught them to cherish every breath, to appreciate the beauty in the mundane, and to never take anything for granted. As they looked back on the tragedy, they realized that the real miracle wasn't just the fact that they had been saved, but the profound transformation that had taken place within them. They had been given a second chance, and they were determined to make the most of it. As we conclude the extraordinary tale of Jesus' divine intervention in the Russian plane crash, we are left with a profound sense of awe and reverence for the power of faith and the mysteries of the universe. The miraculous story of 500 lives spared serves as a poignant reminder of the boundless compassion and love that transcends human understanding. May the words of this account inspire hope and devotion in the hearts of all who read it, and may the presence of the divine continue to guide and protect us in times of need.